Well, Sean, a match that for so long looked to be such a cruel one on your side and somehow your players showed superb spirit to get what could be a priceless point. Yeah, we've taken the game on today. Um, we lost players early, uh, gave away a breakaway goal. We've got good possession on their box. We should foul. We should give a professional foul. Um, midway through the move, we didn't. Um, and they got the bits. Um, and you're really thinking we're still we're still in the ascendancy at that stage. You know, not, not much, but we started nice and brightly. We had a couple of headed chances from Dom and he gets in behind with a, a left foot chance early in the game. Um, and then we lose players and then you've got to reevaluate. You're trying to rejog the side. We looked at different formations, looked at different personnel. We're strapped, obviously, for players. But I'm really pleased in the second half because every time we changed it, there was no excuse from the players. They were like, right, OK. They adapted to what was needed and finally got a, a goal and a good point in front of our fans who were amazing again. How proud are you of your players? Look, despite the injuries, despite everything, all the setbacks, that, that they, they, they could have found excuses today, but to show that spirit. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, we've been trying to build a mentality, and I think that's been evident in a lot of games. Sometimes it's gone away from us, but the, the mentality has been right. There's been some details, of course, that have been right, but the mentality has been firm, and I think it was firm again today. You know, the never say die uh, relentless attitude I like from our teams. Um, I think they're beginning to understand it, they're beginning to deliver it more and more and more. Um, and I said to them half time, I said, lads, Big players, big performances are not always about tactics. So we go and take the second half on with clear-minded, no matter what it does. And we play till the last seconds of the game, the last breath of the game. And we did. And so I'm very pleased that they got a reward for that because every player did do that. And some very, very good performances. Jimmy Garner, again, I'm asking him to play in four different positions. He's taking it on, not even a question. Alex moving position, not a question. Kino goes up front, not a question. We know he's calm in the box and he showed that. You know, this, that's the mentality you want from a group of players, and particularly when we're stretched. Momentum is so important in football. I know other teams' matches are still to come this weekend, but what can the nature of a 99th minute equaliser do going into such an important game next weekend? Well, what it does, it reaffirms the will and demand of our group and the fact that you can get things from games even if you think it's going away from you. You know, we, an odd game today, you know, they, they get in front against kind of the feel of the game, I thought. Um, a breakaway goal, they get in front and then they kind of can defend it out because they've done their job for this season. Um, and I think that can be difficult to play against. You know, sometimes you want them to come out more and they sort of didn't in the second half and we kept knocking on the door, we kept trying to forge chances and openings and we just kept going and going and going and going and it paid us back and that's a big thing for us. That's a big shift, I think, since we've been here is that mentality to keep working and keep earning the right and I think we've done that to get a point today. You mentioned Evertonians, sold out away and yet again, did you feel at the end how much that goal gal galvanised them as well and how crucial that could be for Goodison next weekend yeah look, I don't think they've come far away from being galvanised I said when I got here we wanted to connect with the fans we wanted an on pitch connection I think they're seeing everyone from myself through the staff into the players giving their lot you know, we made some mistakes along the way, but I don't think it's a lack of effort. So I think the commitment to the cause is evident and they're playing their part. So that's the connection we want. We need that connection at home next week. And yet again, such an impressive start from your side. It was just, do you feel that bad luck, the fact that you didn't get the goal we deserved and then they got the other end and, and, and take the lead? Well, uh, there's bad luck, but also it's a, you know we, we, we gave the ball away too cheap on the edge of their box. We want the players to play and try and open up chances, but it was too cheap. And we don't give a professional foul. Now, no one wants that term, but I might as well be honest about it. You should give a professional foul away. You know, and it stops them breaking. It stops the move at source. We didn't do that. They get a shot away. It's a parry and a finish. So out of that, you are scratching your head because I thought we'd started nice and brightly. Um, Dom had had a couple of chances. We'd affected the front third of the pitch. We looked right when we were playing um, to go and open open as many chances as we could and then added on to the goal you get injuries of course so then you're going right okay how many different ways can we look at this so we tried to change it both with shape and with personnel the main thing for me the pleasing thing for me is the mentality like I say I can't un enhance on that enough because we changed the shape three four times in the second I'm asking a lot of players to keep changing but they were clear minded they were like right okay and they just kept going and going and going and going and we got a, a, what could be a big point but we've got to reinforce that by going again next week the sour notes from the day, unfortunately, are those injuries to two players who have been really impressive form in recent weeks, Nathan and Dom. I know it's early days, but what what, what the indication so far? Yeah, it's too early. Um, I'll wait till to at least tomorrow morning, maybe Monday, to see how they settle. And is the most important thing to your or message to your players the mentality, what they've shown today, and how crucial and how much needed that's going to be next weekend? Yeah, it's going to be needed again next weekend because a firm mentality is what what helps you win the games. It's not just that because it's not just motivation; it's performance. You know, we've done enough to perform to get a point today. 
argue, you could argue very easily if it weren't for the injuries. I thought we were performing well at that stage. Fans just to maybe take all three, but you never know. I haven't got a crystal ball. But the mentality is a, is a good base to work from, and I think we've got a strong mentality, and, and that's been growing. Um, it's now important to take that mentality and play well, of course, into Goodison. And you feel that, again, just the nature of how we did it today can bring together the fans and players, which has been so important since you've become yeah, I, I, I've never questioned the mentality of the fans. I haven't questioned anything since I've been at the football club. I don't remember any excuse. I won't be making any. It's within us to go and take care of ourselves, and that's what we're going to do.